We'll start our celebration of the Lord's Supper by reading the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores, restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For your, you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. In that great uh, 10th chapter, of the Gospel of John, he talks about what it would mean personally for him to be the good shepherd. He says, I will lay down my life for the sheep. And he does. And that's why we're here today, to remember that. That Jesus laid down his life for the sheep. He said, I lay it down myself. If I have power has been given to me to lay it down, and the power has given to me to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down. And why did he do that? He did that because we've all sinned. And this was the only way that the shepherd could rescue his sheep. And that's what we are so grateful for, for that love that is so incomprehensible uh, that Jesus would do this for us. Let's pray as we remember his sacrifice, as we remember his body broken. Holy Father, we are so thankful that you uh, loved us, that you sent your son, the shepherd, our shepherd, to uh, give his life. We're thankful for him that he was willing to do this for us, that his love is like your love. They are one, that we are one now because of this sacrifice in him and him in us. Let us remember his body broken on that cross for our sin as we partake of this bread. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's continue our prayer and our meditations on Jesus' blood that was shed for us on that cross to redeem us as his blood is for the forgiveness of our sins. Holy Father, we continue our thanks and our remembrance of Jesus as he bled on the cross for us. Let's remember this and be so thankful that our sins are forgiven in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. We always want to be thankful for the good things God has given us, and, and He has given us so many good things. And uh, even at a time that we might be challenged and, and uh, the pandemic, God's goodness shows throughout the world, and every day He gives us a new opportunity to do good things and, 
And uh, that's an exciting opportunity. He gives us beautiful days like today, uh, beautiful relationships, and we can just uh, thrive in his love uh, no matter the circumstance and find peace in Christ Jesus. And this is all because he's such a good God. And he's given us personally so many good things. So let us give thanks. Holy Father, we do thank you for your goodness. And even though the world uh, is in rebellion against you, uh, to the just and the unjust, the good and those who aren't is good, to those who are trying to do what is right and those who aren't. You give so many good gifts. You give blessings every day. You give us our lives. You give us beautiful people in our lives. You give us our food and provisions and lodging. You give us abilities that are mental to uh, pursue our careers and our lives and our interest. Uh, and every good thing comes from you as it's written and we can see that. We're thankful. Bless those in their giving as they remember uh, the great blessings you've given us to support the church and the work and, and uh, benevolent needs. Uh, otherwise also just bless those who are blessing others and be with us uh, as we sometimes struggle. And if those uh, are in need, uh, please uh, help us to know better so we can help. And uh, we pray for your provision uh, for all those who uh, are struggling, uh, particularly those who might need uh, food or shelter. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.